CHP accident investigators continue searching for answers in a multi-vehicle crash that killed three people early this morning. In all, seven vehicles collided and three drivers were killed. KTV South Bay reporter Jesse Gary live from the scene with more on the accident and those who were killed and injured. Jesse. Mike, Julie, good evening to you. Northbound and southbound traffic on Highway 101 is back to normal. Slow and go on the southbound side as it is wont during the afternoon commute. Investigators still looking into the accident, which claimed the lives of three young men. Family members say Tyler Rasse loved heading to Tahoe for snowboarding on the weekends and his Toyota GT sports car. The 24-year-old South San Francisco resident was one of three people killed in the aftermath of a six-vehicle pileup on northbound Highway 101 early Monday morning. It's terrible because my kids are young, too, and they went to San Jose State, you know, and, and it's sad to hear because he's just starting his life, and his life ended just like that. Twisted metal, broken glass, and debris littered both directions of the highway starting at 12.25 a.m. Investigators say the driver of a Ford pickup truck traveling northbound on 101 crashed into the median near Fair Oaks Avenue. That set off a chain reaction involving five other vehicles. Drivers or passengers got out of the vehicles uh, at the time, so additional vehicles that were traveling northbound, unable to avoid a collision, crashed into uh, several of these vehicles, uh, causing at least three fatal injuries. In addition to Rese, the Santa Clara County Medical Examiner says 24-year-old Paul Denig and a still unidentified man were also killed. Investigators say two of three men killed were knocked over the median and into the southbound lanes of the freeway. That's being investigated as a separate incident. Three other drivers, an 18-year-old, a 28-year-old, and a 38-year-old, suffered serious injuries. Two of the three are being treated at Stanford Medical Center. Investigators say they don't believe alcohol or drugs played a role in the initial accident or subsequent collisions. As the CHP works to unravel clues from all of this debris, three families are preparing for funerals. Just to think about it, you know, it could be my son, could be your son, it could be anybody. And so it's just sad. Still waiting for the medical examiner to identify the third victim in this case. That'll happen once their family is notified. If you have any information about the crash, you're asked to call the CHP. We're live in Sunnyvale. Jesse Gary, KTVU, Fox 2 News. We'll head back to you. Yeah, just looking at that crash scene, such a sad sight. Jesse, thank you.